Alrighty, I'm ready to drop the tea on 2023 and we have done so much research. Not even kidding. We have literally dug up everything we possibly could dig up. We literally looked everywhere we could possibly look. We studied every single construction marker, every single distance marker everything we've scoured the park and i'm ready to make my official 2023 predictions on what canada's wonderland is going to announce as always these are my opinions and nothing is official until the park makes an announcement with that said i do pride myself now on having really accurate information for those of you that saw we were really good at predicting uh lazy bear lodge coming to canada's wonderland and i have a feeling we're gonna be pretty darn close like pretty accurate with 2023. So as you can see on the screen right now, this little red circle in Frontier Canada. So we fully suspect that a flat ride will be announced for Canada's Wonderland in this specific spot. We'll show you the flat ride we think is coming um, a little later on, but we're just gonna touch on areas at first. Um, we obviously, everyone can predict this from our videos pointing out the construction markers. Uh, there will be a kids expansion. How big the kids expansion is, is up in the air. The entire yellow is areas of construction markers. So there are construction markers in the entire of this yellow space there are coaster construction markers um, what we think could be coaster construction markers in the red area and food upgrade gas lines and everything in the brown area this tells us that this is most likely going to be a kids expansion wonderland is in desperate need of a kid coaster not a family coaster a kid coaster so the red coaster is not going to be anything exciting for your thrill seekers you probably won't even be allowed to ride it but it's definitely gonna be something probably along the lines of a junior coaster from Zamperla. But again, we'll show you in a little bit. The third area that we're not entirely sure about, this is where we could end up being wrong. So this area here has the same distance markers and markings of where we know a flat ride is going in Canada's Wonderland. So it has us thinking that there could potentially be a second flat ride coming to Frontier Canada, but we haven't heard that from our sources. So just to confirm, we only can 100% put our backing behind a flat ride in Frontier Canada in that Yukon area would be our guess. And we're not entirely sure of this yellow area. So keep an eye out there. It could just be upgrades, but there are markings similar to what we see where the flat ride is going. Now, what flat rides could be going in that very small grass plot of land next to Yukon's second drop? Well, one of the most likely options, which I'm really crossing my fingers isn't, is the Nebulas. So this is by Zamperla. Uh, Zamperla. To be honest, it's not marketable in my opinion. I can't see Canada's Wonderland going down this route because I'm advertising this to the adult audience and the teen audience, I just can't see it working. This seems like such a family attraction and they're putting a lot of money into the families and kids in Planet Snoopy. So they're gonna be looking for a high thrill attraction to get that other part of the audience. And I personally think that's gonna be this next option, the air race. So I think a super likely option is the air race coming to Canada's Wonderland in that plot of land. My only reservation is I'm not sure, can it fit? The distance markings on the Splashworks building, Yukon Supports, has me thinking it is going to be something that swings, which then has me thinking that this is actually extremely likely, even though I'm not quite sure about the plot of land size. So again, keep that in mind. But I will say, out of the two options, it's either going to be a Nebula or an Air Race. It could be an Endeavor. I'm not going to show it because it's very unlikely. I'm thinking Cedar Fair bought Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland's rides at the same time, which also has me thinking we could see two flat rides. We could see an Air Race and a Nebulas. One could be going over by Action Theater, and the other one could be going over um, right next to Yukon Second Drop. So maybe the Air Race will go beside Flying Canoes, and the Nebulas will go in that little grass field on Yukon Second Drop. It could end up being that. But if they were only to get one out of the two, I personally would love to see an air race. It's more marketable. It is super more, super more, as if that's a word um, or a sentence, but it's more attractive to uh, their other target audience they'd be going after outside of this kids expansion. Now, what could this kids expansion mean for Canada's Wonderland? What could be coming? Well, we know that Zamperla has been visiting Canada's Wonderland a lot this season. We haven't seen any other enthusiasts talking about this, but if you've been paying attention walking around the paths, 
Zamperla has been at the park quite a bit. So we think that a Zamperla Junior Coaster could be coming to Canada's Wonderland in the Camp Snoopy or Planet Snoopy. Again, we're not sure the direction Wonderland's gonna go with that. Are they just gonna extend Planet Snoopy or are they gonna build Camp Snoopy like they do at the other parks? I personally would love to see Camp Snoopy and I hope that's the direction they go. But I personally think we'll see a Junior Coaster, some food upgrades. I think they're gonna need a food building back there similar to the one built on Firework Hill, uh, Lazy Bear Lodge, but obviously a little smaller because Lazy Bear Lodge is designed to hold around 600 people. Um, a, a smaller version of Lazy Bear Lodge and Camp Snoopy, upgrades to the food facilities there, and just overall more uh, flat rides that can run during Winterfest. They're gonna need this space for Winterfest and the summer season and Kids Fest. Kids Fest is super popular for those of you that did check it out. Um, now, whew, with all that said, again, I'm. Fingers crossed I'm super accurate. I, 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 we, this was a really hard one. Normally we find out about Wonderland's additions much earlier than this. So kind of shocked we didn't like know until the last couple of months, but super interesting to see how accurate our information is on this. Feel free to comment down below if you think we got this nail in the coffin, if we hit this nail on the dot, because oh, I'm, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. The announcement will be August 11th, by the way, Thursday coming up. Um, so you will find out shortly. Um, and again, super excited. Comment down below your guys' opinions and thoughts on all this. Thank you for watching this video and have a good one. Bye.